Well, I always wanted to be a race caller from the age of nine. I started calling the trials at various race tracks around Sydney and eventually got a start with Radio 2KY. I called Greyhounds for 20 years before transitioning to the trots uh, in 2009, which I've been in that role ever since. I think you've got to meld both the accuracy and the entertainment factor. A lot of people aren't always watching races on TV, they're listening on the radio, so you've got to paint a picture in their mind how the race is being run, and that's my job to do that. Trackside, they're seeing what you're seeing, so you've got to keep it nice and accurate, keep it nice and entertaining, and, and that's hopefully the mix that I provide in my race calls. Been massive changes in the sport, ranging from the breeding influences the race gigs that the drivers uh, use, and also the track management and the race tracks themselves have become so much bigger and faster. I think if you don't get a bit of nerves, you shouldn't be in the job. You've got to manage nerves and nervous energy. And I try to do that by keeping my race day routine as similar and as same as I possibly can. Routine, breakfast, go for a walk, all those things that I do. And I also wear my lucky underwear. There was talk of a horse coming over from New Zealand, a good trotter called She Sells Seashells. When I found out she was going to have a race name change and be called Miss Seashells, I certainly breathed a sigh of relief. My favourite horse was a little mare in the 80s called Teen Queen, trained by Brian Hillier. She was nearly unbeatable at Harold Park on the old track over the long distance. She just had personality. She was only a little thing, but gee, she had a big heart.